Hi guys, how are you? I'm back with another video. Of course, it's a late night upload. Sometimes I feel that <laughs> that's the only time I'm able to upload now. <laughs> so on today's video, it's going to be a different one. This one is going to be for all the little munchkins out there. <laughs> for all the little girls and little divos, divas, you know? So um, I found these two purses a while back on Amazon that I thought were so adorable. And they are labeled as kid purses for little kids, but I still use um, this one. This one because I can still fit a few, um, um, a, dis a decent amount of stuff. So here's option one, and here is option two. Oh my gosh, tell me, ugh, isn't this adorable? It's so sparkly, rainbowy. I love it, you know? Love it. Let me lay her down over here. I don't want to drop anything, guys. So I'm going to move my little alpaca because it's getting out of the way. By the way, talking about the alpacas. Oh my gosh, were you guys as invested in the Johnny Depp trial? Because I was gosh you know what it was so triggering but yet still oh i was hooked on it guys hooked on it i still watch it <laughs> okay so let's get started now like i said um uh these little bags will make really cute gifts right so we're gonna do like what's in this little purse or what you can gift to you know to the little munchkin so let's get started first off i kind of went with the rainbow theme since i'm already there <laughs> i got this uh from bath and body works it's one of their newest scents but this one it caught my eye because it was so cute it's a diamond shimmer mist so even though you know you may not give this one to a little munchkin oh my gosh bath and body works has their upcoming sale coming i think on the 12th or the 16th if i'm wrong i'm not sure but like sometime next in the upcoming weeks and they they're gonna have a new scent guys and it's going to be bubble gum bubble gum you guys oh i cannot wait cannot wait to review that one so let's dig in I showed this wallet before thought it was really cute because it's quilted you know who has who has too many um, little cards you can put mm, maybe your sweet frog little card your yogurt card a Disney card <laughs> how cute but the one that actually goes with these two purses is this little wallet look it oh how cute isn't it adorable for you know a little girl's first wallet oh having them make make them feel so <laughs> so luxe <laughs> how cute right oh let me lay this over here what else do we have well I did find these, of course, everybody, you know, I found these sanitizers. Everybody has this in the purse now. But this one was so cute. This is a passion fruit and banana flower. Thought that was really cute. There's actually another one with a little monkey on it. It's like a safari collection. I thought it was adorable. Look it, Mango Cove. How cute. You can put a little sanitizer in their purse. What else? You know, well, since I use this purse, look, I do carry a little deodorant ball. 
isn't that so cute it's so convenient right you can if you don't know what it is you're like what is that candy you know it looks like one of those eos lip balms but no it's a little deodorant ball how cute let's see you know depending on their age well i carry my this is my candy baby victoria's secret lip gloss but of course, for like the little kids, there's always the Lip Smacker brand. They have like strawberry, all kinds of fruity stuff. How cute. Right now, this one, I, I just have a basic one. This is from, it's called, it's a coconut one from Essence that I got at Ulta not so long ago. Yeah, no color. It's just a little lip balm. But thought it was so cute what else do i have in here mm, i have another little lip mask and the last thing i showed you guys in a different video too it's a set of these hair ties how cute right these little pom-poms it came in a pack of um 18 i think 18 for like less than ten dollars but it was these i showed you guys so you guys remember these but oh wouldn't they look so cute in their hair adorable right so that's pretty much all that i had in here i couldn't think of anything else <laughs> i don't have any kids so um, you guys have to tell me in the comments if you guys do have little kids what are their essentials what do they carry say in their little um, zip pouch or their purse I'm so curious because it's just so cute <laughs> um, I did actually forget you know some of little kids sunglasses that would have been perfect but let me get this out of the way and I'm going to show you guys a few um hair accessories that I found off Amazon that I thought were so cute. I could keep that right there. So, oh yeah. So let me show you. I love that purse. I really do. So I found this one off of Amazon, right? It came in a set of five pieces for less than five bucks. I actually wear this one myself, but like I said, it's meant for little girls. But look at how beautiful the detail is. For the um for the five dollars, look at the quality is so nice. So it not only comes with the headband, but it comes with five other bows. And I'm gonna show you the quality is so pretty there's no glue sticking out anywhere look can you see that i'm gonna zoom in but look at the quality it's so nice they have such a nice grip and yeah i think this was like less than five dollars but look you have this silk one aren't they so cute you know put them on your on your hair on your daughter's hair oh they're so cute adorable i did find let me throw put these over here and i did find some other pieces for your hair this came in like a pack of like 20 but they're cute little butterflies i only brought these out because you know i'm always in that little colorful colorful mood in this theme oh look it having these all over their hair all over your hair i've done a few in my hair and i'll get stopped and they're like oh look at your little butterflies they're so cute <laughs> right and they're just little clips how cute and each butterfly comes with a different design there's even purple ones if you're not into the rainbowy there's pinks and purple blues this one is just it would look so good with like a little orange dress or a pink one how cute right oh they look so beautiful on so i'm gonna put this away 
Now, you guys know that I'm a huge um, eyeshadow wearer, right? And I was looking for something that had glitter, and um, but without breaking the bank. So I found um, a little a palette on Amazon. I mean, it's it's just your standard glitter, okay? For like, um, since I wear eyeshadow, I just put it just for a pop in the center. But let me show you. Look at this palette. Oh my gosh. Look at how adorable that is. If I ever made something, this would be along the lines of it. Look at it. It's holographic. You have this unicorn. I would actually change the little unicorn to rainbow one. But everything else, the clouds, the cupcakes, oh, it is so adorable. Now, it's not like an extravagant palette where the glitter is, you know, has like like a like different shapes or anything. You know how nowadays all the makeup, you know, gets a little um, extravagant with it. This is just your simple glitter, but I love it. Works for me. Doesn't it look like a journal, you guys? Oh. I, like I said, I can get lost. And it has little cupcakes. Look at that. Oh, so adorable. Looks like a journal, huh? But yeah, let me show you. So yeah, I think this was $11.99. Adorable. Let me open it. And look at all the glitters. Oh, are you guys glitter fanatics like I am? Because I am. My gosh. So I've been wearing this palette for about a week. I'm not going to recommend it, of course, to little girls because it's too close to the eye. You got to be careful with it. But this one was for me because, um, yeah, I was sporting it the whole week. So I'm going to show you guys. My hands are clean. Look, I've been wearing this one, Lollipop and Pixie Dust. All the blues and purples. I love that. Look at this one. Just one swipe. Look at how creamy that is. Ooh, look at how creamy that is. It's not dry and the pigment is there. Let me do this one. Oh, so can you see on the eyes? They're so beautiful. And you're not breaking the bank, you know? They're just so cute. Ugh, what am I gonna do? Ew. Anyway, so yeah so how cute right oh i loved it and you can't forget well i can't forget um i showed you guys in my other videos these little um it was a mommy and me set that i got off of etsy i'm gonna link her down below again i know she takes a while she takes about a month to get to but um to get to you but it's so worth the wait and it doesn't come with the glitter straws i actually got that off of amazon but it's still cute wouldn't this be such a beautiful gift to you know <laughs> and she not only has hello kitty if you guys have a little boy she even has little boy characters like cars what else um mickey mouse star wars how cute, right? I just love this one because it's it's small. It's small for little divas. Oh, how adorable, right? Let me put this over here. And of course, because I couldn't forget the little Hello Kitty pin, the famous one you guys keep seeing on my videos. <laughs> yeah, you can find so many on Etsy. So many cute ones. But yeah, you guys, so that was my video on what are on these little girl purses and um i just wanted to touch on something i didn't even know <laughs> how to go along um about the video you know but um uh you know um last month was so hard you guys so hard on everybody you know especially on parents you know and um even though i'm not gonna get so deep with the video um 
I did find some really nice information. I'm not going to bombard you guys. I don't want to bore you guys. But um, I found an article that was talking about grief. And I thought it was so nice. I'm going to put it in my description because it listed 12 very basic um, basic uh, <coughs> um, how do you say uh, I guess guidelines you can say right or 12 basic steps to dealing with grief so I'm gonna get started I'm just gonna show you guys five okay so I'm gonna start off um, with what it said everyone grieves differently and what works for somebody might not work for somebody else. There's no right way to deal with grief. Okay, some people like to express themselves. Some people don't. And it's okay. It is okay. So it's called basic guidelines proven to be practical. So the first one was actually the most important. The most important. And it says, accept support from family and friends. And even though at times, you know, it's so hard because you want to be alone or you get irritated with people trying to help you, it's normal. You don't always have to be around others, but don't completely push them away and find a balance and let them know what you need and what you don't need. Number two was watch your diet and exercise. It sounds cliche, right? But this helps because when people are dealing with stress, um, there's a, a, how do you say, um, it helps, I mean, it helps with the stress that comes from dealing with grief. So, um, People lose their appetite or it's very low. You can start off, you know, small portions, eating small, small portions. When you exercise, you can take brisk walks. Um, exercise can lessen negative emotions. And when you do, it either gives you time to reflect on your loss or it gives you a break from thinking about it. You know, thought that was really nice. And number three, I'm just going to do five, okay? Number three was get plenty of sleep because sleep is so important to those who are grieving because grief brings extra fatigue. So be careful with the caffeine intake, the, the alcohol, so it doesn't interfere with um, sleep that's so important at this time. Number four, avoid self-destructive habits. You know, um, when we're dealing with things like this, sometimes the first thing we do is either go to alcohol or go to dr drugs to escape, you know. But uh, just remember that any relief that these two substances provide are are very short-lived you know so there's other ways to deal with with um these negative emotions you know and um, number five the last one was uh balancing your time if somebody wants to take you out to eat it's okay go go get yourself something to eat nourish your body you want to eat Go get the mail outside. Take a breather. It's okay. You know? And um, there was one that it said, remembering your loved ones. When you're ready, you can always, um, it would be so nice that people collect pictures. You can make a journal, making little mementos, you know? So those were some... Uh, basics that i found that were so nice but you know i really would love if you guys um just saw the whole you know some of the few steps because there's so many but there was 12 so i'm gonna put them in my description 
and yeah guys um that's all <laughs> i get a little nervous talking about you know this but yeah i'm so happy you guys take the time to watch my videos i absolutely love um replying to your comments and so i would love to know <laughs> What do your little kids have in their purses or their little backpacks? I remember I knew a little kid. He was so funny. He would carry, it was it was a little boy. He would carry a little zippy purse. And inside, inside the zippy purse, he would have, I swear, everybody's business card. His mom would say that he would go to, say, Stater Brothers. He would go anywhere and ask people, can I have your business card? Can I have your business card? So when he took them out i swear he had about a stack like this big with like 50 cards and some were raggedy some were brand new oh my gosh they were like car detailed ones oh it was so funny but yeah Ugh, little munchkins are adorable so thank you guys so much for watching and yeah so let me know in the comments because i'm so excited to read them <laughs> So I'll see you guys next time. You guys take very, very good care. Okay? <laughs> Bye. Good night.